Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be changing this main switch for this is 2010 Chevy Traverse. It's for the power windows. Um, that one works. That one has stopped working. The back one has stopped working. There it goes. But it doesn't want to come up on either switch. So I bought all four switches. Uh, looks like this one doesn't want to come down either. Uh, you can hear it every once in a while start. You wiggle the switches like this and like that one over there. You got to wiggle the switch back and forth to get it to go up. So we're going to change this main switch. It's pretty easy to do. So let me get you set up here and uh, we'll put the switches in. Okay, now the reason why I think it's the switch panel is when we got the car, you know, all the windows, everything worked fine on it. And then uh, mine started acting up over there on the passenger side. It didn't want to go up, so she would put it up and down with this one. But now it doesn't work. As you've seen, it doesn't really work any of them except this side. So I think it's a switch and you know you leave the window down a little bit it rains it gets rained in, you know on or you know you have to get in or out of your car in the rain you open that door up it gets water in it. So what we're going to do you should use a piece of plastic there's a plastic tool they make for this and I can't find mine it keeps it from scratching that up and I'm not sure where my tools went but you just pop that up like that and go along just go kind of gingerly with it because these this old plastic especially when you're in the hot climates old stuff like to break okay so you go like that and you flip this over <clears throat> okay so there's the main switch we're going to be replacing this one just take Some of these have a white clip. It looks like this one. Okay. Like this one here. You just push that in with your thumb. Push it up. This one, sometimes they, they've got a white clip that goes down inside of here. This one, I'm not seeing it. So I'm guessing this has been replaced before. This is one of the top five things that go wrong on these. On these, uh. Chevy Traverses. So like I said, just, you know, if yours has got that little white thing, just pop it up and then that'll give you, you'll be able to push that in and then just pry it right out of there. That's all we need to do. Now, to get these out, what I do is just put, put a little pressure on your switches here. Bend this tab out just a little bit, just like that, and like that, and it'll start coming out, and then you can put pressure on this. Let me get you. Same way with on this side. Whoops. Well, see that happens. That's that old plastic being hot in the sun all the time. Just be careful with it and you'll be all right. Just like that. Now let me get the new switch out of the box here. I went ahead and bought all four. It came in a kit. Wasn't very much. It was like 30 bucks maybe. So I went ahead and just got them all because I know the other ones are acting up. Like mine started acting up first. Now it's working halfway decent. But then you're going to take your new switch. See if you can, if that happens to you, just kind of bend that over a little bit. Like that. <clears throat> and 
Put that in there. There we go. We're going to plug it in. Before we put this in, and we're going to try our new switches out, let me turn the key on. All right. Now, let's see. Okay, that one works as it did before. Now, let's check the passenger side over there. There it goes, up and down. Now, the one that really caused us problems, and it only did it when it was raining, of course, but there we go. Now, providing, let me explain something real quick, guys. <clears throat> okay, what it was doing was, when it was working, you know, it was going up and down fine, right? Just like that. Okay, so when you wiggled the switch, it would start going up, and then when you held it, it would go up. If it's working up and down just fine, sometimes it's probably your switch. Okay, so let's check this one. Make sure this one's doing good. Uh, and it works fine. Now we'll go over and um, we'll check the passenger side. But I'm, I'm going to replace them all. This is a this is kind of like a quick fix. Okay, now let's try this one here. Now you've seen it worked fine over there on the driver's side. Okay, it's working fine now. But trust me, sometimes this will not work at all. But, uh, okay, let's try this one now. And that was another thing. This one wouldn't work. Okay, there you go. See that right there? Nothing. So we know the motor is good and the wires are good because it works on the driver's side. But it doesn't work here. So I'm guessing it's a switch. So we got to take this out pretty much the same way. Let me go put the other one in. I'll show you how to put it in. Just kind of like backwards from what we how we took it out. All right, but you just want to put your front end first. Make sure it's in first, and then push it down, and it'll lock in. That's all there is to that. So let me shut this key off, and let's go to the back passenger side, and we'll change that one. Okay, so now we're on the rear passenger side. I'm going to start up here at the front on this one instead of the back. I'm going to get right in between there. I'm going to pop that up. Pop it out just like that. And this one has been replaced before too because there's no white clip holding that. So what we're going to do is just push that clip and pull that out. Same way with these. I don't know what you guys are seeing because I can't see the screen because the sun's so bright. So what you can do is push this, you're not going to hurt it because it's a bad switch anyway. Push that up there, just pull that out. Now let me go get the other switch that I forgot on the other side of course. Okay we have it, <clears throat> same one, that's the old one, this is the new one here. You could probably take these apart and clean them real good because I'm sure it's gotten water in it, but I'm not going to mess with that for as cheap as these are. There will be a link in the description. If I can remember how much I paid for it, I'll put it on the screen right now. But I will put a link in the description. Okay, so first we're going to pop this one back down in here. And also these back ones, you'll feel click in, always have a drink holder. And you know, you're spilling coffee, you're spilling things and um, water, pop, coffee, whatever can get down in there. Now we're just gonna, there's only one way this can plug in, same way with the other one on the other side. You can't mix it up. Now this one, we're going to put the back in first. Let 
make sure everything gets lined up push it back as you're pushing down on the front so it can line up into its hole there and there it goes and there's that one now let me turn the key on let's see if this uh, window works okay so let's check it out I know it goes down because <laughs> I just walked around here put my hand here and I seen it move so going down now let's see here's the thing it never wanted to go up there we go perfect all right very nice okay now we're gonna do the same thing on this one um, as you guys saw it wasn't working on the other side but it is working now but sometimes you know you got to wiggle it back and forth to get it to go up or down so we're going to change this one next it's just like the front one the other side I'm not going to worry about right now um, it's the same as these these you know yeah well hang on uh, let me grab my screwdriver and but yeah the other side back door the rear back door you know it's the same as this one it's just the different side so let's go ahead we're gonna start start at the back on this one just like that and again it has been replaced so let me get the uh, let me grab the switch real quick Okay, again, oops, sorry. Just, uh, yeah, it's it's been replaced. Just push that in with your thumb and pull it out. If you have to, you can pry on it a little bit with a screwdriver while you push that in. Okay, so. Hold that. Oops. There we go. Now that one. Now one more. And there it is. Okay, so let's grab our switch. We'll put our switch in and then again there's only one way this plug will go you can't mix it up so don't worry about that now before we put this in let's turn the key on now of course it was working before but okay so there's that one. Then this one, same as the driver's side, we're gonna put our front end first. There it is. All right, you know what? We did three, let's go ahead and do the fourth one. All right guys, here's a prime example of what I was talking about. Okay, this is the button for this window. All right, now watch. Going up, you see that? Going up and down. Now watch this one. It's going down. But it's not going up. Okay. So let's go ahead and replace this. All right. We did the other three. Let's replace this one too. And then we should be good to go and we'll check all four of them. Alright. So same as the other one. This one we're going to start at the front. Pry that up. Or as my friends across the pond call it, prize it up. Alright, pull it up out of here. Flip it over. It's been replaced too because none of them have that little lock. Which, yeah, they, they come with that little lock out of the factory. So, there's that. Like I said, just one way. Now, we're going to just push on this. Oops, 
be careful not to bend them too far. And there it is. Alright, make sure you bend it back a little bit. And right now it's like 94 or so, and it's almost 5 o'clock at night. So now we get this switch. We're going to put it in. These switches are, are all the same for this this one okay well the the three the passenger door and the rear doors for the windows they're they're all the same you know you, it, it can only go one way you know I mean it's not going to go that way of course so just um, yeah push that in there make sure your tabs are over there lock it into position and again, this one, we're going to start with the back. We're going to push it in, push it down just a, a, a little bit. You might have heard it click there. And then push back as you're pushing down on the front. And boom. There we go. Let's turn the key on and let's try it and see if it works now. Like I said, I knew that it wasn't a window motor or a wire issue because like the front door switch would control it. It would go up and down just fine. Um, so that means, you know, that it had to be the switch because if, if it was a window regulator or window motor, um, that was bad or a wiring issue no switch would make it go up and down okay so let's let's try it now there it goes all right so quick easy fix there you go there you go monk so yeah right on all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate it Shea Bear the myth man legend I'm gone for now again Link for these switches will be in the description below. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, thanks for watching. 2010, I think it's 2009 to 2017, something like that, Traverse. And I think some of the Equinoxes might be the same. But this happens to be a 2010 Chevy Traverse. So there you go. I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll go from 2009 to 2017-ish. And... Uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.